good morning children last day we discussed and studied about constitution we started to discuss about constitution and what we discussed and studied about history of the constitution when it is formed when it is started to work which committee and when it is approved all these things we discuss now i am going to explain about uh, four functions or important uh, significant functions of constitution last class we already just said uh, these four functions today i am detailly explain about these four functions first function we already see constitution tell us what the fundamental nature of our society okay what the fundamental nature of our society it is based on certain ideals okay all the constitution have certain ideals it is set up based on certain ideals okay if you take a example of india we have different beliefs different languages and different faiths and different customs and practices also from this difference we united how it is happened because of the constitution we have a good written constitution so that we united and we our government is going very nicely functions of government is going very nicely and it is set up based on certain ideals we yesterday we all most of the students uh, find out the preamble already find out in that clearly in the preamble means it is a introduction of a constitution you can say it is a sort of constitution because what is the constitution that explain this introduction this uh, preamble explain and in that we already see that uh, you already find out and certain values india is a sovereign socialist secular democratic republic and justice liberty equality fraternity all these things are ideals of the indian constitution and based on these ideals our constitution set up our government set up okay if you just take our near uh, country nepal ups and downs of the nepal's government is very important around in 1990 up uh, nepal's constitution is a, a kingship based on kingship okay king is ruling there and people is not satisfied with the, that government and people started to make protest against this government after that in 2006 a new constitution formed by people of nepal and that is a based on democratic principles and it is now go through democratic uh, now nepal is a democratic country okay so it have certain uh, principles and values so based on that it is going on so that is why it is say constitution tell us what the fundamental nature of our society and second function it is define the nature of our country's political system okay the constitution defines which type of political system is existing in that country okay in india if you take our government is democratic government based on democratic principles it is set up people is electing power is the hand of the people we studied all these things in the 6th and 7th standard so our government is a democratic government and people selected a democratic government it is a political based on political parties and political system it is going on so there should be a political leaders also they are ruling here we are giving power to them by election so they are ruling here so sometimes they can misuse the power so from the misuse of ruling uh, leaders it is protecting us who uh, constitution protecting us through fundamental rights constitution protecting us from the misuse of the political leaders and authority okay that is why it is define the nature of our country's political system so our political system is based on democratic principles and people have here is people have the important uh, importance and they are selecting the government and through that it is going on and third significant function it is 
it is ensure that a democratic group does not use its power against other less powerful people or group so it is ensure that dominant group does not use its power against other less power people or group so in a country there should be many dominant groups major groups if you take in india it can be uh, hindu society is a major religion and they can uh, it is based on uh, hindus values and it is go through a majority of the people are hindus so what is happening they have they can hold the power or powerful group can be hold the power so from this a misuse of the power who is protecting constitution is protecting and there should be less powerful minorities and also people are less powerful group the less and weak people are there always who are the powerful people they are controlling and holding the power then what will happen there should be a misuse of power and they are the powerless people are suffering from these people so from this uh, exploitation who is protecting our constitution is protecting us okay that is why dominant group does not uh, hold the power so it is controlled by whom constitution so these are the main functions and last one it is to save us from ourselves it is to save us from ourselves because as a human beings we can also go to violate the laws and all the things from that we are deciding and it is serving us from ourselves also so these are the important functions of the indian constitution okay so i think you understood is it is and you just read the chapters and understand all these things and there are many stories and all these things are given that also you please uh, understand and if you have any doubt you ask to me work i will give later